One day, while exploring the mire close to Vault 94, we stumble upon an abandoned bunker. This was one of the locations in the mire that was marked on our map when we discovered the East Ridge Lookout in my video on Shelby O'Rourke that you can watch here. The first thing we notice is the symbol of the Free States painted on the door. So this was a Free State bunker. On the ground outside, we find two corpses. They both say Settler, and we notice that the terminal outside is completely blasted out. Thankfully, the front door is not locked, so we can walk inside. We arrive at the top of a staircase in a concrete room. We can take care of a rad roach on a wall and another that comes up to attack. On this level, we find a wooden crate, more scrap on a shelf, and a chemistry station that we can use to scrap the junk in our inventory. Moving to the stairs, we can peer down. We see one glowing red light, but the keypad locking the door has long since been broken. We see a rad rat in the adjoining room. Heading downstairs, we get swarmed by rad rats. These buggers were level 20, which was higher than my level at the time. They pushed me to the top floor, where I was able to finally get rid of them. the rats dead, we can again venture downstairs. Heading into the room, we see more rats in a flooded level below. This top level was the kitchen. We see vines and roots from the mire outside have already grown down into it. One is growing out of a stove. And to the south, we see a utility room with more vines growing out of the walls, choking a destroyed fusion generator. No chance finding a fusion core in there back out onto the kitchen landing. We can loot some Nuka Cola and a board game, and then step on down into the dirty water below. Moving clockwise, we see that the water obscures practically everything here. We have no idea what we're walking on. There's a ruined TV, ruined furniture all about. A door to the west, which is completely blocked in. We can't explore it. Though we do see an open door to the north. This leads to a bathroom. More vines growing out of the toilet, a first aid kit on the wall. But when we move to the sink, lying in it, we find an abandoned bunker safe key. So there's a safe. Let's see if we can find it. Back out into the living room, we can move to the eastern side. The terminal is blasted out, sadly no lore. We see an open door to the east. Here we get rushed by a rad roach. And this leads to a laundry room. There's a washer and dryer, coat hangers, and a Braxo, but nothing really of interest. And I couldn't find the safe anywhere. Now, while recording this, I was broadcasting live. I spent probably 30 minutes looking behind TVs and picture frames and couches to see if I could find this safe. I had an entire audience helping me trying to find it as well, but we couldn't find it anywhere. It wasn't until days later that viewer Napoleon War told me on Twitter that he had found the safe. And so racing back to the abandoned bunker, I searched again, this time in the exact spot where Napoleon War told me to look. If we crouch down and look at the floor, against the western wall in the laundry nook, we find, buried under a foot of water, the abandoned bunker safe, which we can finally unlock with the key. Sadly for our efforts, we get randomized loot. I was expecting something cool, a weapon or a holotape something, but now it looks like this entire location exists to put us on a scavenger hunt to find one safe with randomized loot inside. But still, I was grateful that I eventually found it. So thanks to all the viewers who helped me, especially in Napoleon War. Tis the season, and I'm away from the office for a while, so I whipped up a bunch of these Fallout mini-sodes to tide you over until I get back. If interested in my shirts, you can find a link to my shirt shop in the description below or by clicking here. If you like what I do and you want to support me in a more personal way, consider becoming one of my patrons on Patreon or a member here on YouTube. But more than anything, I'm just so glad you're here watching this video with me today. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope you all have happy holidays.